how, I mean, how was Phantom in the beginning? Because like we like I, I guess maybe some of my users don't know the complete story of Phantom. Like, I mean, Man, basically, it was it was yeah. dead for a while, bro. Yeah, the V it like was, it was a VC, it was a VC project, right? And it got VC'd out, came out wrong time in the cycle, everything crashed, and then most of the VC sold. Right? Is that kind I of think, the whole? I think uh, initially, I it might have been a Korean team. I might be wrong, but uh, apparently, some of them exit scam. They weren't actually trying to release the product that they said they would release. Uh, I think they said they would just copy uh, HBAR or something. And then a new team came over, actually, you know, fulfilled the white paper and yeah. actually got the DAG out. Um, and then early, early on, obviously, it was just the Phantom wallet, the PWA wallet. I'm sure people, sub five cents, know all about that. Then it was projects like Zoo Coin, you know, Spooky Swap. Yep. We started getting a little bit more team building. I think Liquid Drivers announced. And then. And uh, there was a crazy run in 2021, so a lot of teams came, started building. Uh, yeah. It's a fun experience, especially for someone who's not a, a crypto native. Yeah, because it, it was like um, there, there was a really interesting interview I listened to recently from um, Sun Tzu, Suzu, Three Arrows Capital guy. You know what I mean? Because like, he's been making the rounds right now because he just you know he just got out of jail. <laughs> and uh, no, he's a good guy though. I like I like Sun Tzu. Doing his press tour. Yeah, he's he's doing a pre literally doing a press tour, bro. Like, and he's like, he's now a jail ex. Like, he, he said he's not a jail expert, but like every stream I've seen him on, he's like talking about being in the shits. It's kind of funny, bro. But you'll get a, if you're listen to it, you'll, I'll send you one. You'll, you'll get a kick out of it, man. But um, but he talked about like during the tail end, he basically says that they didn't come up with vernaculars for, I guess the like. So me and Charlie noticed at the tail end of the cycle, there was kind of like this weird rotation. Where like you know we would see with Solana AVAX a little bit and you know you uh, you know kind of there's kind of like and there's kind of like you know the ro how rotations happen right it's like it's like first it's like Ethereum pumps off then an NFT then the NFT money goes yeah. into this and, and it just keeps going off until it circles back around well at the tail end there of the cycle me and Charlie figured out like yo there's kind of like this weird rotation that's happening that we never noticed before which was with like there was like sort of a phantom harmony near sort of thing and yeah and i guess uh, apparently they the the vcs didn't end up quitting it until the end They're, they call it phone yeah so luna avax um i've heard the foam i've heard one with phantom before mm -hmm. um these are kind of all adjacent product projects like layer ones usually typically yeah so the price actions usually on alts kind of follow the same thing i'm sure everyone's seen that that one image with all the cycles first it'll go to eth and yeah there's a lot of like opinions and theories about it but i i genuinely think it's just market makers just timing things correctly you know if another coin is pumping if i'm a market maker for phantom i'm going to be like okay let me start building momentum in our token as well um well coin i wouldn't call it token. yeah i always uh interject with the the coin and token but you got to be clear coins are their own networks and then tokens are on the network so he passed so he, this is one of the interesting things i heard was like he basically said that he passed on buying Phantom. They offered him like unlimited amount of tokens he could buy at like a penny and a half below wow. even the yeah. They offered him anything they he wanted. He passed on it and stuff, and he passed on um he passed on quite a few projects and stuff. And it was kind of funny because the projects that he passed on ended up being the ones that had some of the most explosive growth at the tail end of the cycle and stuff. Harmony, like he basically by passing on Harmony, he didn't get into Jewel stuff yeah. and didn't get into yeah until it was crazy and it's kind of funny because basically because these communities didn't have like i don't think i like because I, from this is me kind of like dissecting it now as like being you know this is the third cycle in crypto now for me i've been in it since like 2016 till now and stuff like that i'm like i'm 96 years old in crypto <laughs> you know like we, we always joke around like one year in crypto i mean one year in crypto is like 12 years in equities right like every month is a year right how much action oh, is so like 100%. Uh, it it is it is kind of it is kind of trippy when you when you started listening to like what, what they were doing and stuff and basically because they pass on some of these projects these projects had to bootstrap and make actual communities and and phantom was really since i think phantom was the one that had almost the biggest head start of everybody even though it was kind of like it took a long time for it to really pump um it had time to build a community i know um i know you guys don't do phantom alerts anymore but like you guys like started like the big channel for phantom was phantom alerts you know yeah yeah Austin ran that. It was honestly one of the greatest ideas I've ever, you know, just for a network to have somebody, you know, Jason to the network to cover new projects, 
Uh, I remember I thought I was a mod in their Discord server, and I would do all these little AMAs with these little, I wouldn't call them little projects, but uh, projects at the time. And uh, you'd be surprised, man. There was like so many teams wanting to build on a mm. network. It's kind of hard for someone to vet that. And uh, Austin and Phantom Alerts were just in a perfect spot. A lot of trustworthy community members, people that would audit contracts for free, like guys like Double Sharp, people in the Discord, just kind of Double like, Sharp. Yeah. Holy shit! I haven't heard yeah. that name, yet. bro. Dude, this bear market's been cold, bro. I'm telling I you. <laughs> I know he's a good dude. He's working on some stuff, uh, like his own ticket company. Okay. And I think he he's like been working with the paint swap team on a lot of stuff. I see I see him credited all the time, but yeah, like he would just like he'd be like in our our Discord, be like. Oh, this new project, yeah, this will this is gonna rug you, man. They got some really bad withdrawal functions, and it was just community vibes. Like we were all interested in the new projects. Um, it was honestly a great time. Like I don't know if you know Kesha V, a lot of good Discord mods. Uh, uh, Save Vianney, I don't know if I'm saying that right, but uh, Jethro. It's a lot of people. Just like we're all there. We're all trying to support the community, grow the community. It was all like. A bunch of people aligned just for the growth of facts, and it was awesome to see. Yeah, and, and it, it, like I remember talking to some of these guys, and I could actually get responses. And then, when was it? Around August, it was impossible. It was impossible. August, it just because I mean, like, everyone. It was like Phantom was going banana. I mean, like, dude, do, like, it, I mean, how crazy is it that we touched a dollar basically like a day ago, like like Not yesterday serious. or this morning, supposedly? Like, I think right now we're we just went a little under eighty cents, 